Our big story at six, the Milwaukee County Board is considering legal action against the Rock Sports Complex in Franklin. The calls for a lawsuit follow years of noise complaints recently highlighted in 12 News Stories. 12 News' Madison Moore joins us live tonight from Franklin. Madison, one supervisor says enough's enough. Joyce, uh, County Supervisor Patty Logson, she tells me that she has been trying to work with the city of Franklin and the Rock to fix these noise levels for years. She even gave me this binder that is full of research with concerns that date back to 2017, but with no solution, she says it's time to sue. Neighbors recorded the noise coming from the Rock Sports Complex in Franklin the night of the Savannah Bananas baseball game earlier this month. It's equivalent to being standing 50 feet from a freight train. So that's how loud it is. It's events like this and the recent turmoil at the Tacos and Tequila Festival that Milwaukee County Supervisor Patty Logston is all too familiar with. I've been receiving complaints from day one when I became a supervisor in 2018. And it's, they've escalated. It seems like instead of getting better, it's gone from bad to worse. Milwaukee County sold the land the Rock Sports Complex now sits on to Rock Ventures back in 2017. It's an agreement Supervisor Logston says the current noise levels now violate. If they don't want to adhere by the development agreement, I would like Milwaukee County to sue the developer. The county recently funded a $200,000 sound study for the complex, finding that fireworks and some live music violate Franklin's noise ordinances. There's some uh, county board of supervisors that are now calling for you to intervene to take legal action against the rock. What do you say to that? Uh, well, I would, I would have to look into that to be quite honest with you. At this moment, it's really about how do we get the city of Franklin work with, with Milwaukee County and the rock to find a solution that benefits fits all parties. Now, Franklin Mayor John Nelson says he's taking action too, calling an emergency meeting with Rock ownership. Our emergency meeting is, is set up uh, to come up with solutions and a timeline. And one of the things that kind of delayed a response or direct action was waiting for the county uh, noise uh, study to be done. Well, Madison, some people really want action and focus on this. So when does the city plan to hold the emergency meeting? Choice Mayor Nelson tells me that that meeting could come as soon as tomorrow afternoon, and he says that these solutions are simple. He says that just to lower the volume and to turn some of those speakers inward. Now, I did reach out to Rock Ownership today for comment, but have yet to hear back. We'll continue to follow this. Madison Moore reporting live in Franklin tonight. And you can learn more about that noise study and watch our previous stories about the controversy right now on the WISN 12 app.